arise from functional patterns. In this video, I'm going to take us through a myofascial release of the gluteus medius. But first, let me explain how a gluteal dysfunction may be directly related to knee problems. The gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus make up our buttocks. In a dynamic environment, the maximus propels us forward like in walking or running, while the medius and minimus stabilizes the hip, keeping us balanced while stacking the joints together. Due to our evolving culture and sedentary lifestyle, we have adapted ourselves to sitting, developing overactive hip flexors, rendering the gluteus maximus the body's powerhouse to lose its function in extending, and stabilizing of the hip and core. This puts the medius and minimus in an overactive state as a backup response for the dead maximus. If these guys are weak as well, over time, this generates asymmetry, imbalance, and may result in duck-like wadding of the hips when walking, external rotation of the femurs when the toes face outward, or this could be a direct result from a compensation in this debilitating squat. A dysfunction in the gluteus medius may also result in medial rotation of the tibia when the knees bow inward. A weak maximus and fired up medius may also strain the hamstrings and the quadriceps through overcompensation in dynamic activities. All these deficiencies and dysfunctional movement often lead to runner's knee, chronic knee pain, IT band syndrome, ACL, and ankle injuries. To locate the gluteus medius, this muscle originates on the lateral gluteal surface of the ilium and it inserts onto the top of the femur. We will utilize a lacrosse ball for this release. You can also use a tennis ball or a baseball as an alternative. We will lay on our side, flex the legs just like so, position the ball just below the ilium and on the lateral border of the hip. We can either lay all the way or plank the elbows just like this. Take slow, deep breaths to relax the muscle and we will lay here for at least three minutes or until the pain dissipates and then switch to the other side. We may feel a referral pain on the lateral aspect of the leg and a spillover into the thigh. I recommend to do this exercise along with the TFL release, especially if you have knee or lower back problems. When doing myofascial release exercises, it's very important that we start at the root of the problem first, then move down the list so we can build the foundation effectively. My name is Princess from Functional Patterns, reminding you to live intentionally and not habitually.